Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, you are watching Off the Track, and it is time to drop the hammer. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, to really talk about the Cage Cone Classic, uh, we got to dial it back two days beforehand. So the, the race was on Thursday, and I know our intentions were, were of the week last week. We were going to shoot a podcast on Monday, and then we decided we were going to go to my house on Tuesday. Well, plans change always. So we decided to stay here Tuesday, get the podcast finished and uploaded, and then Wednesday we all went home. So I think I got home around... I want to say maybe three to four or something like that. And I got all these parts to build a clone motor. So I have a building stock. it 48 hours before yeah. the race starts. Yeah. So I got only a couple hours to build this deal before, you know, we're racing tomorrow. So I got all these parts. I've watched tons of videos, talked to a lot of people, and I'm pretty confident in my skills in building these motors. Cause I've rebuilt two twelves, uh, for sunrise when you, when we used to race the oval at uh, Brandon's track, the asphalt one. And all we did was a stock to 12. Well, this is a clone motor. So it's got like, you know, a billet rod, a billet flywheel and all this other stuff to it. So we got all these parts and I started putting it together and I just didn't like the way, uh, the rod felt. Uh, I didn't like anything like the way it turned. It just felt weird. So it, it's about 1 a.m. It's me and my dad out there in our shop, the speed tainer. And so I'm working on this deal. And I told my dad, I'm like, look, you got to go to work tomorrow because he's going to work a half day because I don't think we're supposed to get to Red Bluff on Thursday till like 2.30, if that, because we're not running till like 4. So we went to bed and it was 1 a.m. And we still have a motor that really all that's together is the cases. And <laughs> that was it. So I woke up bright and early the day of the race at like 7 a.m., it's raining, it's cold. I go out to the shop um, and I start working on the motor again. Well, I decided to change blocks so my crank would be different and I put it all together. I put the head on and everything and all these parts. I'm putting it together and mind you, I think we have two hours till we have to leave. All right, so I got this deal, you know, put together and I go to fire it off. And last night we tried to f like, it, it just felt weird. So I go to fire off this, this motor the first time it's going to fire off. And it is so dang hard to pull about rip my arm out of my, <laughs> my body. Cause it's so hard to pull. So I messed with the valves a little bit to loosen it up and that definitely helped. It started to pull, it started to fire. Well, it started to backfire through the carburetor. So obviously there is something majorly wrong with, uh, the timing on this thing or the valves or whatnot. Uh, the intake valve was open on, uh, the, the, when the exhaust was supposed to happen. So, uh, I'm just frustrated at this point. I'm like, I'm pretty confident in my motor building skills. So maybe I was lacking something. So, you know, it comes down to it. We got a half hour before we're supposed to leave and still there's no motor on my car. I got my stock 212 that I had been running in those practice sessions. And then I got the 212 that I was going to build a clone motor and I pulled the trigger. I'm like, look, we're going to go down there with a stock 212, no governor, and we're just going to let her rip and see how it does. So that's what we did. Uh, I think we got down there probably like an hour before we rolled out for our first practice session. The place was packed also oh, yeah. too, because not only were all the outlaw cart guys or most of the outlaw cart guys there yeah. to practice. I mean, what you guys had 29 or 30, clones? 20, 26, 26 yeah. clones. So a, a pretty, you know, packed field for a division that doesn't run yeah. red bluff on a weekly basis for like a one-off show. Yeah. So we, we got there. Um, we unloaded, put our stuff by Tanner's trailer. We went out for the first practice session and this is the first time I've ever ran a clone there on a hooked up track because every time we'd run it it was always on the rubber or something like that so uh i didn't like the car it just didn't have enough rpm we kind of had it set up for the rubber and whatnot for a slick track so we changed the gearing and then we went out and qualified i think it was horrible qualified 18th so obviously i knew right from the get-go uh we're lacking power big time because we're running a stock motor and all these a stock motor all i know is the clone motors are about like i was told 17 to 20 horsepower and that's a lot, that's a lot more than what I got. So we go out for the heat race and I was scheduled to roll off fifth and the leader, uh, blew up <laughs> in staging. So I don't know how that happened. I don't know either. And I felt bad for him. So the leader blows up in staging. So that moves me up one row. We roll out third and I was, I was hyped. So we go out for the heat race and we're rolling. Uh, I think Jerry Green takes off. He's checked out and second and third were battling hard. And I'm literally... <clears throat> Coming in to the wall, 
turn left and running off straight from the corners. I'm not arcing nothing. I am straight through the corner, uh, just trying to keep as much momentum as possible, making the track as short as possible. And it kind of worked in the heat race. Yeah, you were able were seeing. to keep your momentum up and yeah. just really hit the bottom. And so in two and three, we're fighting hard or racing hard or whatever. Uh, I got by one of them, moved me into third. And then by then, I think we had two laps to go. Uh, I get by him. He throws a bomb on me in three. I cross him up. We're side by side. We go into one. Uh, he, I think he was on my outside for sure. So I let her float a little bit to kind of block. And then coming down the back stretch, I, uh, you know, kind of turning left to block. I mean, that's all I you could do. Take I got the lane away. I got a slow motor. There's nothing really more I could do. So we're coming into three and four, uh, like people will probably see on our TikToks or my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, he was going for it, and I don't think there was a lane there for him to None take. None of you guys were lifting. No, no one's going to lift for this transfer spot. So he takes me to the wall, this other cart, runs over my hood, like the whole car just monster trucks me. And at this point, I'm thinking to myself, well, I'm either going to hold it wide open and we're both going to hit the wall hard, <laughs> or I'm going to make it out of this and I'm going to transfer. So... I remember we literally drove straight into where you were watching on the yeah, fence. Yeah, I was videoing with my phone because yeah. I was like, man, you know what? Something's probably going to get interesting yeah. here. So I pulled out my phone. I started videoing the heat race. And sure enough, when you guys wrecked, you literally came head on like like at where I have my yeah. phone through the fence, which made for some, you know, some yeah. good footage. So we ended up, you know, dang near wrecking there. He takes me to the wall. <clears throat> he kind of got a little tight or whatever running over my hood. I break away. I ended up finishing, getting third, making the transfer. So we went straight to the show. And then, like, I think two laps into the show, we started 11th. I was up to, like, 7th or something. And we just got clobbered in a wreck. And it was actually Aaron got together with someone, um, I think, just trying to get through from the back row challenge. And my clutch is a stock Harbor Freight clutch. And all these people got race clutches. This deal is burning up. Like, I feel it. It's screaming, trying to grab. It's burning. It's hot. So I pulled into the hot pits. Hubert grabs some sort of liquid to spray the clutch down to cool it down and make it slip better. Um, so that didn't that lasted maybe two laps or whatever. So we pretty much just went out there for the rest of the 30 lap feature and uh, let the clutch burn down for sure. Uh, we had decent speed when we were all racing, but when it filed out single file, we kind of fell back just because of slow motor. But we ended up finishing sixth. So we started 11th, finished sixth. And uh, finished six out of 26 cars with a stock Harbor Freight right out of the box, 